Hey guys, it's Fang Shaman, and welcome back to more of my Bakugan Defenders of the Core walkthrough. In the last episode, we fought Mylene and lost Ace's trust. <clears throat> now he doesn't even want to talk, so it's just a humph. <laughs> Whoa, are you alright? Did you get in a fight or something? Let's go! Time to rescue Mira! The first rule of being a brawler is to be confident. You can do this! Alright, let's get started with the mission. Oh man! Do you guys ever give up? Let Mira and Wilda go! Shadow, I'll brawl you for them. You're challenging me? Revenge is gonna be so sweet! I choose a I think All right. I think I'm going to use Drago for this match. Each Bakugan has different ability cards. I should Cuz to be honest, I have two failed recordings of this one battle where I used both Ingram and Nemesis. I lost both of them. So, I'm going to go with Drago. Especially since Drago is the strongest Bakugan I have. Let's get started. Looks like we're gonna have to protect that factory. Wilda! Please free Wilda! Careful when you're fighting Wilda. Wilda is pretty strong. You're gonna have to wanna use a lot of breaks. We got this! Get away from my landmark. Finish this. That's what I'm talking about. Let's destroy this crystal. There we go. Shoot this guy! There we go. And now for the final event. Time Are for Hades. Let's do this, Hades. Get rid of Hades.
keeps breaking my combos. Oh well, he's down now. We've got it. Here are our battle results. Two B's and one A. Overall, B. Not bad. Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> what a relief! We were worried sick about you! <laughs> uh, yeah. Pull yourself together, Baron. I'm glad she's okay. That should do it. The IC chip is installed. I... What are you guys gonna do once I leave? None of you can brawl. We'll find a way to destroy the crystals! Your folks are probably worried sick. What's wrong? <sighs> Turn it off. I'm not going anywhere. Thanks, man! You're all right. Abyss! Your actions have proven that you truly desire to save us. I will bestow some of my remaining power upon one of your Bakugan. You're not crazy after all. Guys, something big is going on in China. Multiple earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Our crystals are being destroyed, and you do nothing to stop it? These petty interruptions by the resistance will not continue. No, Spectra. I grow tired of siphoning this planet's energy little by little. We must reach the Earth's core and harness its power directly. The Earth's core? Obtaining Drago is of the utmost importance. We will use the power of the perfect core within Drago to complete the mission. Yes, my king. Sorry, my king. But I'd rather take that power for myself. Now we're heading back to China. And we rescued Wilda. And we got Cross Dragon. And now that Drago evolved, we get a new set of ability cards I for him. And looks like we got, um, I think that's Crack a Sound, but oh well. Anyways, as you saw, Drago evolved into Cross Dragonoid, but question is, why does he look like Hyper Dragonoid? You see, the game designers used the actual Bakugan in real life. Bakugan like Cross Dragonoid, Midnight Percival, Minx Elfin, they never got turned into actual Bakugan balls, so they were never put into the game. When you see Elfin evolve, her ball form will look like Dual Elfin instead of Minx Elfin. Midnight Percival will look different. Basically, everyone will look different. Master Ingram's gonna look like Cosmic Ingram, but You'll pretty much see that once all of my all of the Bakugan are evolved. 
Well, that pretty much ends off this episode. So next time on Bakugan Defenders of the Core, we're going to head toward the next Vexos Crystal in China. See you guys there.